Hello and welcome. This is the Chinukai Garage Review. The Chinukai is the only premium tank in the Japanese line and this tank is a little bit overlooked by the community. Well, of course it is overlooked because of a couple of reasons. First, this is only a tier 5 premium tank. It won't make hell of a lot of money. Secondly, it doesn't excel in any department. It got a little bit of everything. It doesn't get the premium matchmaking, so it is another drawback. But in comparison to its uh, tier 5 counterpart, the Chinu, it's almost exactly the same. It's got a little bit more of hit points, it is a little bit more heavy. The engine is the same, however the Chinu will receive an upgraded 300 horsepower later. The traverse speed is much better than on the Chinu. Even with the upgraded suspension the Chinu will have only 34 degrees of traverse. And the view range um, will be the same with the upgraded turret, yes. So, the Chinukai does not receive premium matchmaking due to its abilities. And, yeah, why would you go for this little tank? Well, Wargaming recently announced premium vehicle improvements and I am pretty excited about this. Uh, there are a lot of blah blah. In the end of the topic you can see what's the point here. Premium tanks will receive more battle experience on a tier basis. The Chinukai will receive 40% more. No, sorry. It receives 40% more since the 12th of September 2014. Moreover than that, the premium tanks will receive, or sorry again, the premium tanks receive more crew experience as well. So they will be a very good um, training platform for your crews. As you can see, you will reach your skills and perks much faster in these vehicles. And this was the main reason I've chosen this little Chinookai. And of course the other re other reason is to be able to play with Tsitsapotsok. Uh, meanwhile she is driving her KV-1. So, the Chinookai. It has 480 hit points. It's not bad, not good. Uh, pretty average. Mm. In terms of mediums, it's not bad. The engine power is pretty bad and it makes this tank sluggish. Um, you will be slower than most of the medium tanks and you will be a little bit faster than the slow heavies. Your traverse speed is not very good and in combination with this engine you will feel it very slow. Top speed not bad. Almost 40 km an hour. Armor wise bad news. It has no armor whatsoever. Do not rely on it. <sighs> even even a tier 3 can strike through without problems. Unless they are stupid enough to shoot around the gun. If I already speaking about the gun, let's have a look. And surprisingly, this gun is pretty amazing for a tier 5 medium tank. You will have this exact gun on the Chinu as well, if you research it. 12 rounds per minute. You can shoot shells um, in about 4.4 seconds. Armor penetration 124. And with the premium shell, which is also an AP, you can penetrate 155 millimeters of armor as average. Damage 125, pretty good for a tier 5 medium.
Accuracy, not bad. Aiming time, not bad either. Equipment wise, I use the Rammer binoculars. It is handy especially if you get into um, tier 7 games where <laughs> you cannot um, flank the tanks because you are a little bit slow. You cannot penetrate them from the front because you doesn't have the penetration for that. And I tend to occupy useful locations in the Chinookai and just passive scout there in the first few minutes of the game if I happen to be in a tier se heavy tier 7 match. The third one is the vents. As I use this tank as a training platform for my further Japanese medium tanks, I go with a pretty standard um, crew skills. For the commander I train the sixth sense and for the others repairs. For the consumables um, I does not use the fire extinguisher since the engine has only 15% chance of fire at impact. Instead of that I use uh, quality oil to gain a little bit more engine power in this Chinookai and it, it is still sluggish with this extra 5% of engine power. One notice, this tank has the transmission and engine seemingly in the front and it's quite huge. Anybody shooting on your front will damage your um, engine compartment or your transmission and there will be a quite big chance that it will cause injuries or sorry damages um, components of your tank. So my crew reached 92% already of their first skills and perks just in 63 battles and 30 battles were fought without this um, buff to the tanks. So you can have a picture how fast you can train your crew after these uh, micro buffs to all premium tanks. I definitely going to buy some more tier 5 premiums as they will be <sighs> training crews crazy. Maybe you can have a commander trained um, let me show Mentor if you have commanders to add into your vehicles as it will um, provide even more crew experiences to other crew members. Okay, after this short review let's bump into a battle. Okay, first let's see um, tier 5 match in several gorks. Let's get this show on the road! As you can see the acceleration is quite bad in this tank and on medium ground we can reach mid-20s mid quite easily but accelerating over 30 is quite hard for this little tank. As you can see the western flank was a little bit weak uh, but fortunately the enemy team wasn't approaching this way quite hard so we had the opportunity to push a little bit further on this flank Churchill's three appears and at that point I didn't know that it has that superior side armor so actually I tried to strike through it twice and after that I just took the good old tactic and 
shoot the turret of the church receiver. Unfortunately, I hit the mantle. And now the side was quite flat, so I was able to hit it. And we can finish him with the turret shot. No, actually, the T 49 finished him with the turret shot. As you can see, the DPM is quite good of this gun. Now, okay, we want appears. Unfortunately, we only hit the tracks. Our second shot strike through. I was working together with the T-49 to damage the KV. Unfortunately, he didn't back up. So, he was killed by the KV-1. And we did 1041 damage, just about in 3 minutes. Fortunately the bishop missed us, and unfortunately we bounced him. Almost 1600 damage. Just a shy three and a half minutes. So you can see if the Chino Kai is top tier, it can beat the hell out, even from tier 5 heavy tanks, which is very welcome from my side because if you want to play this tank aggressively, you can do it without any problems. You will be most likely to cause damage to heavies even from the front. All in all, it was a quite good game. Both of our flanks were performing quite well, so the enemy team was defeated in technically less than 4 minutes. Okay, let's see the next battle. Okay, in the next match I was in Erlenburg. And as you can see it was a tier 7 max game. With quite a lot of tier 6s and only a few tier 5s. To be even worse, we were attacking. Let's go. And if you are in an underdog position like I was here, and you need to attack. Um, it, it is wise to stay in the second line and don't try to be <laughs> try to be a Rambo and kill the enemies, as as you cannot afford to get hit by tier sevens. An IS can kill me in two shots. Uh, Tiger will be able to shoot me out from this game in just two shots and that simply does not work. Instead, you can go into little snipey spotty positions like I did here and I already ruined the day of the Jackson. I take a blind shot. Unfortunately he wasn't there. But he doesn't survive my second try. So in the early stage of the game I I will be here and I will try to spot the enemies. I'm hoping I can light up as many as possible to our forces. There is another rejection. Unfortunately, our team doesn't work on it so hard. 
as I expected to do them. And I take a hit from him and he shaved down the half of my health. Due to this and because I was a donkey, I will be killed uh, just before the end of the game. And this is a perfect example why you shouldn't go out on the first place in such a little tank. I see the flag bus. <laughs> I immediately load HE. Of course, I did a critical hit maybe to his gun. Fortunately, the third shot killed him. And I switch back to AP. I see our team is advancing and only the SU-85 and the IS is remaining on the western flank. Due to this I decide to go a little bit further and I'm hoping that I will be able to spot even more tanks to them. After I didn't see any, I decided to go even further by these houses. And I hoped I can flank some of their heavies. Of course, all of them were in cover. Maybe I have a shot on the tires? Uh, no. No, I don't. I was just waiting for the tires to come out. Our VK3001D spotted a tiger for me. And I will be more than happy to shoot the flat side of the Tiger 1. After each shot I zoom out and check if the IS is coming on me. I thought he does not. I zoomed out and zoomed in again. And just before I shoot, he reversed out and killed me. And it was my mistake that I was zoomed in so early on the Tiger and actually I was not able to see what is going on with the tires. I should have been able to back up, I should have been able to survive this. So all in all, that was the Chinookai. I hope it clearly showed what is the capability of this tank, how you should play it if you are top tier and how you should play it if you are in an underdog position.